Absolutely. Now we move over to a final story. I think the story is very important. Seeing as yesterday, we talked about the powers of the Nigerian police and the rights of the citizens. We had Barista Evans who freely talked to us. You can go on YouTube to look for it. It was a very fantastic and eye-opening conversation. However, we're seeing that the police protest in Maiduguri over unpaid allowances. Police officers in Morning State have taken to the streets of Maiduguri, the state capital, on Monday in a protest. The officers who are protesting over about five months of unpaid allowances barricaded major roads around the police headquarters. According to them, they have not been provided with accommodation amongst other basic needs. President told t television station that the officers also fired some gunshots causing commuters to scamper for safety. It was also said that all attempts by senior officers of the police command in Maiduguri to pacify the protesting personnel to shift their swords proved abortive. The Borneo State Police Commissioner Chairman, Police Commissioner, I beg your pardon, Damian Chuku, also reacted to the protest, which lasted up to three hours, stating that they are making efforts to pacify them and to ensure them of their payments of entitlement soonest. Now, this story is heartbreaking to say the least. As much as we're criticizing the bad eggs in the police, these are some of the things. We're not making excuses for ill conduct, but these are some of the things that push people to the edge. Absolutely. We have a video. Take a look at this very short video clip. When we come back, Leila and I will be talking briefly on this story. The president is a democratic president. You should intervene. This, All of this you, is yeah. such an embarrassment to say the least. A yeah. national embarrassment to us as a country to see that of all the things we're dealing with an insecurity problem. We have an insecurity crisis on our hands. Absolutely. And our police officers are not being paid. You know what? You know what? You know that you've actually reached the tipping edge in your country when the people who are given a certain position in office in the country are normally in a position because these are the people who are normally meant to be making sure the protest runs smoothly, making sure there is no violence when it comes to the people protesting and they are now the ones protesting for their basic and fundamental human rights. We have spoken multiple times on reasons why there are several factors that are dilapidating the state of the Nigerian police force, and one of which is the fact that our officers are not, and clearly not, um, receiving their pay when they should be receiving their pay. We complain about the fact that they're not getting adequ adequate remunerations because the salary is not enough. So we complain about the fact that they're collecting bribes. But now, let's even leave the fact that their salary is not enough. You delay their salary for five months. How do you expect them to survive? How do you expect them to feed? They have family members. This is such a sad, embarrassing giving... story. In other countries, IGPs, commissioners will be fired. You're giving guns like to this. people that cannot afford to feed themselves. The government is giving guns to people that can't afford to feed themselves. And then we skip hearing incidences of trigger-happy policemen. This is what in results exactly. to trigger-happy policemen. Exactly. We need to understand that our police, too, are human beings. And until their rights... Look, you can't protect other people if you cannot protect yourself. You cannot give what you do not have. Exactly. So if you want to give security, you need to feel, first of all, that you're sold out and you're devoted. We need to do more for our security personnel. We need to do more in ensuring their safety their security, and that their basic needs and amenities are being provided. Having not paid them for five months is embarrassing, to say the least. And I'm really glad that I'll be connecting to Abuja via Skype to speak with um, our correspondents there who are looking at the fact that the president has summoned the IGP. We want to hear the details of this story, and we want to see an end to this. Now, the commissioner of police in Borno State had um, come out to say that because the 2018 budget has finally been passed, that there will be speedy processing of their funds. But did we have to wait for the 2018 budget to be passed now? Exactly. For, for us to have five months' salaries? Are we saying that our, our commissioners, our, our senators, our House of Representatives officials, are we saying that they are not you know, getting paid and they're not getting their salaries. I'm looking at the details of this story in depth, of course, we have reports from Abuja. Yeah, we're going to be connecting over to our Abuja correspondent, that is Ogedegbe Stephen, who is joined today by Prince Deji Adeanju, and we're going to be looking at the presidency summoning the IGP. Hi, Stephen, how are you doing today? Hi, Leila. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to you, uh, too. I understand how that... How is Lagos? Oh, Lagos is great. I uh, hope Abuja is great as well. I understand that you have some information for us, and you are joined by Prince uh, Deji Ade Andrew, who is the convener of the Aramu Mudondu campaign, with regards to the IGP being summoned by the presidency. Mm. All right. Uh, yeah, I've been joined this afternoon. Uh, he's an activist, and of course, uh, we'll be talking this afternoon on uh, the issue of... Um, protest mm -hmm. and also uh, we'll be looking at the focus uh, this afternoon on the protest that happened in Ben uh, Bono State uh, yes, yesterday, yesterday. Um, the uh, mobile police force um, they came out and and they staged the protest um, yesterday uh, because they've not been paid their salaries and allowances for mm -hmm. the past um, 
seven months. Mm -hmm. So um, looking at protests generally, yes. uh, what is your take on protest and the citizens of Nigeria? Yes, pro protest is a fundamental right. Okay. It's a human right okay. that must be that is protected in our constitution, constitution section 39 and 40 okay. of the 1999 constitution as amended. Okay. So it's within anyone's right to protest, including the police officers. It's also even within the right of the president to protest. Okay. If he feels something has gone wrong and mm. and he cannot seek redress, mm. is in the interest of is 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 also in the, the vice president's right, mm. governors, everybody, including you and me, okay, to protest. Okay. But, 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 but what we're looking at right now, yesterday, um, this protest caused a lot of um, problems in in Bono State. Okay, um, we, we saw the, 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 the mobile police people, they came out and, uh, you know, they stopped activities that were happening in that um, region, around yes. that area, because they've not been paid their salary. And these are guys with arms. Yes, indeed. They are guys with arms. So yes. what, what, what do you say about that? You see, I, I, I watched the report yesterday, okay. you know, and the report is an indictment on this government. It's an indictment on the nation okay. that people who should naturally protect yes, the citizens that, that's what i'm saying are, they, 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 you know it for for the, those police officers to go to that length mm. to protest they they must have exhausted all means mm. to seek redress and and the situation has gotten too bad wow. you know many of them have dependents they have children mm. they are also fighting the war mm. against uh, boko haram yeah. insurgency and all that mm. And so you can know, you, you, you can feel their pain. They were saying that the IG is a thief, the IG is corrupt. You, you, you saw the report. Yeah. And so the issues that led, because you must, we must always have a holistic approach to, to things. It's just like when people have stayed in their, in their villages and some people come because they want their cattle to graze on their land. Okay. Come, they were sleeping. People come and wipe them out, burn the whole village to the ground, kill children, kill women, kill old people. So you can, you, you know, th right. those people will be touched. Okay. Th those people are affected. So those police officers are directly affected by corruption and incompetence. No, let's and that's why they could come out brazenly. Mm. And you could see some of them were, were holding their guns. And they even fired shots in the air. Yeah, that, that, that's what I'm trying to say right now. Um, let, let's look at the response of the um, the force headquarters mm -hmm. uh, when they heard about this. They said uh, probably probably is because they've not attended to the um, to, they didn't attend to the 2008 budget in time. <laughs> so that affected the payment of their allowances. What mm -hmm. do you say about that? You see, incompetence cannot be excused. Can never be excused. The IG of police, the commissioner of police, and other people, will they say they've not taken salaries or allowances for the past eight months? Mm. That's not true. Mm. The major problem of the police is, is, is the problem of corruption, mm. that the budget 10 billion for something, before it gets to the grassroots, mm. they've cut the money, cut the money, cut the money, maybe only 500 million gets down. Mm. So by the time it gets down, it's still reluted, mm. even down. And by the time it gets to the field, the officers can't see the money. All right, so, so, so let, let, and, and you remember that Senator Michel okay. raised all these allegations mm. several months ago. Mm. Yeah, he even alleged that the, the current IG had taken bribe to the tune of 120 billion naira oh. from oil companies and banks. And all these issues, mm. issues of promotion, mm. issues of allowances, issues of salary, issues of deductions. Mm. Senator Michel raised all these issues. The president is aware. These things are in public domain. But the president, maybe because of he sees the IG to be somebody who is loyal to him, who can help. Because you know when an election okay, let's, year. Let's, let's, let's look at it from this angle now. Um, the IG was summoned to the villa, yes. all right, to meet with the vice president. Uh, but um, what they discussed behind closed door was not made open to the public. All right, was not made open to the public. So um, now how do we follow up this issue now? that the discussion between the IG and the vice president was not made open to the public. Well, you see, this same IG was summoned by the presidency when the president gave an express order mm. for the IG to relocate to Benue. Mm. He, he never relocated to Benue. Mm. No punitive action was taken against him. You know, so it's, it's a we, what we're experiencing in Nigeria is a leadership issue. Mm. The president does not have the will, mm. the political will to effect 
the necessary changes that is desired in the country, whether it be reform in the police, whether it be uh, tackling the insecurity situation in the country, whether it be the economy, whether it be jobs. So it's about political will. The will is not there. Just like what many people have said, that the president seemed not to be in charge, that just that the president is aloof and that some people have taken over the government. So I think that is what we are seeing. For the first time in the history of this country, we are seeing an, a president that is loyal to his IG, mm. instead of it to be the other way. It's like the president is indebted to the IG. All right, uh, we don't have much um, time on our hands this afternoon. I'll be going back to Lagos uh, uh, later. Thank you very much, Stephen, and also to your guest, uh, Prince Deji Ade Andrew, for this extensive insights with regards to the summoning of the IGP via the presidency. Much appreciated and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for having me. Thank you. I'd have loved to ask him, however, yeah. if he had the opportunity to, you know, sack or reprimand the IGP, what would he do? Because yeah. lots of them are calling for his sack. I think these questions are very important questions we need to ask. In Absolutely. other times, what would be the practice? Absolutely. Would he step down or would he be asked to step down? Absolutely. And also looking at protests as a tool for checks and balances, I think is very important because we're seeing more protests. There's another planned protest tomorrow going on in Abuja. The Enough is Enough no, Nigeria yeah. campaign. They're gathering together at Unity Fountain, I think. Yes. And then they're trying to protest for all the killings and the bloodshed with the hashtag blood on the flag going on on social media. I think we Absolutely. should bring a representative to talk about it as well. Definitely. Be rest assured that Olive and I will do everything that we can to ensure that we do have a representative here on Hello Nigeria to speak to us more about this campaign. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.